To the East Bay now, where in Contra Costa County, stray dogs have become a problem. County officials are trying to figure out what to do about them. They've already scrapped one controversial plan. So now, as ABC 7's Wayne Friedman reports, they're looking at another approach. Good boy. You're looking at a happy ending, but also a new beginning. A dachshund mix now named Harry and his new best friend. Oh, it was absolute love at first sight, yeah. <laughs> Until this afternoon, Harry was like many other dogs in the Contra Costa County Animal Shelter, abandoned apparently and homeless. He has one more ordeal ahead. By the time I adopt him, he will be neutered. As it stands right now, the county will spay or neuter any dog that it adopts out. But in the future, that policy may change. The county may spay or neuter any dog it finds wandering the streets and then impounds. We're not trying to put every dog under the knife. What we're trying to do is identify where there's a more irresponsible dog owner um, and have those animals be returned, spayed or neutered, which is ultimately the, the, the best thing to do in the long run. Contra Costa County Supervisor John Joyup and his Public Protection Committee have asked for a study which stems from the disproportionate number of pit bull attacks and pit bulls turning up as strays. Originally, that panel had considered mandatory spay and neutering of all such dogs in the county, but then backed off. When we first proposed mandatory spay neuter for pit bulls, people thought we were discriminating by breed. The county's goal to reduce the number of strays and euthanized animal. It also expects some resistance from dog owners. If a dog is found habitually to stray from their owner's control, the owner should be fined when they come back to get the dog. You think that's a better solution? Absolutely. We should add that this budding controversy remains a work in progress. That's why it's only a study thus far and months away from any vote by Contra Costa County's Board of Supervisors. From Point Richmond, Wayne Friedman, ABC 7 News.